Hi, today we'll be talking about case number seven about stereo manufacturer in Canada potentially expanding into India. We're here to walk you through a few solutions to help make this business become very successful. My name is Frederick. My name is Wei Peng. And my name is Kevin. Hi there, this is Frederick again, and I'm here to introduce to you case study number seven and also the first online marketing solution for this particular case study. So this case study is about a local Peterborough-based uh, automotive stereo manufacturer that would like to uh, expand across both Canada and also into the growing India market. In the first online marketing solution, we will be using custom auto part websites and also online social media platforms that focus on the car enthusiasts, people who are willing to spend extra money to upgrade their cars. Car upgrading has been a huge trend in Canada for in the last couple of years due to large scale or local based car shows that car owners show off their cars to local people. By using sites such as t.performance.ca, a global car parts website that caters to more than 50,000 customers, we are able to expand the awareness of the superior sound systems that the Peterborough car auto manufacturer, the one listed in the case study, offers. We will be using such tools as Google Analytics that tracks the daily traffic flow to the website. Through the trends, we were able to find that May to September is a great time when car enthusiasts come out to buy parts for their cars. Up next, we have Pei Weipeng talking about the next online marketing solution. In our second solution, the key word is young. Our goal is to expand the awareness of our brand between the Canadian young drivers. So, uh, our target audience in this solution is Canadian young drivers. They do want to upgrade their stereo system in their lovely car. Therefore, in order to success in this specific condition, we will choose Facebook as our platform because Facebook is used by the majority of Canadian young people. We will create our own Facebook page. We will post uh, some news, use our own hashtag, such like Young Car Stereo Lover. Uh, as for the schedule, I will update two or three times a week in order to share some news of our brand and our product. Finally, in order to measure the effectiveness of the solution, we can track the number of people who follow us. We can track the number of people who are friends with us. We can also track how many people have already used our hashtags to discuss. <laughs> Next. Kevin will talk about the third solution. So I'll be talking about our third and final uh, solution, which is to expand to India. Um, just last year, they actually ha have uh, $47 billion of imports of auto parts. So with the music and the auto, we plan to uh, promote the service through Facebook, specifically uh, the Facebook page uh, Auto Cart India, um, they have over 2.5 million followers, and our target. Our, we were able to do this by creating brand awareness by being interactive with the community as well as posting advertisements on the website. We would measure this by the amount of clicks and by going through Google Analytics. Secondly, we would go through YouTube, YouTube, uh, specifically the channel T Series, which is a popular Indian YouTuber that. Um, plays the most popular m music out there. So if we align the company with this popular um, YouTuber about music, we can show them that this is the best music possible. This is, uh, if you want to listen to this music, this is the best speaker to listen to. And we would measure all this by going through Google Analytics to learn about the stats and data that we would get from this. I'm glad you guys made it to our end of our video. I hope you guys learned a lot and enjoyed the time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Take care.